the Bethesda leaks are starting to get absolutely absurd. We are now just nine days away from the Xbox and Bethesda Summer Game Showcase, aka Naughty 3, and in the lead up to this, there have been a ton of insane, plausible, and even some just outright bizarre leaks on things like Starfield, Avowed, and even a Fallout 1 remake, and despite the absurdity, almost every year, at least one of these leaks ends up having some truth to it, and a couple of these actually seem fairly reliable, although there are definitely some that are almost most certainly fake. One of the leaks to inspire this video comes from everyone's favorite source with 4chan, where a supposed Obsidian developer just leaked some details on Avowed, Starfield, and really just Xbox and Bethesda overall. The big news, according to this leak, being that Avowed will reportedly launch in holiday 2022 after having one of Obsidian's longest dev times at five years long. And honestly, this is one of those things that does seem somewhat plausible. We've heard rumors in the past from actual insiders, not 4chan, that Avowed is set to launch in the first half of 2023, which of course now is actually Starfield's release window. So perhaps with Starfield getting delayed out of the end of 2022, there is an attempt to get Avowed out earlier. The game has been in development for a very, very long time, with the earliest confirmed reports coming from late 2018, but some other insiders claiming that pre-production started as early as late 2017, which does get us to around five years of development time. Avowed is honestly this big unknown right now, so confirming or denying this particular leak is particularly hard. But we do know it's been in development for a while and it definitely looks very interesting. If it really did come out at the end of 2022 and even took Starfield's place of 11-11-2022, that would be quite plot twist. Although, of course, 2023 seems like the safer bet. The leaker goes on to claim that Avowed is Obsidian's biggest budget game to date, but with the map a bit smaller than Skyrim, although it'll have the familiar things like dungeons, caves, and even ruins like you'd expect, and even some fun underground cities. He further claims that Pentiment from Josh Sawyer is also coming this year. This is another mysterious RPG being worked on from one of the big names behind Fallout New Vegas, that being Josh Sawyer. We don't know much except from leaks again, and what we've heard is it's going to be very heavy on dialogue, actually not having combat, and you'll be solving murders in 16th century Europe, which just sounds perplexing and very interesting. This leaker describes how a new Wolfenstein game will be shown at the Summer Showcase, but what is by far the most outlandish claim across this leak overall is that a Fallout 1 remake is in development from Bethesda Game Studios Austin, which if you're not familiar, Bethesda Game Studios Austin is the studio predominantly working on Fallout 76 but all Bethesda studios seem to really just kind of work on everything. A Fallout 1 remake in its own right isn't that crazy. People have wanted something like this for a very long time. People just don't enjoy the top-down isometric style of the older Fallouts. But where this leak gets a bit crazier is this leaker claims that it actually will be remade in the top-down isometric style. This is not a 3D remake that many fans are requesting, but a remake or upgrade on the original Fallout 1 style, which would honestly be crazy. It's one of those bizarre bizarre predictions that could end up actually being true. Still very, very unlikely, but it definitely is a bizarre leak to come out. And we actually have seen from LinkedIn and even job postings as to how Bethesda is working on some kind of new unannounced title. And this does include both Bethesda Game Studios Austin and Bethesda Game Studios Dallas, namely. And okay, who knows, maybe this Fallout 1 remake fits in somewhere, but it does seem like that this new title that was being worked on at least at one point was Spy Team. Spy Team is this trademark that's been held by Zenimax, which is the parent company of Bethesda since 2018. But in reality, we really have no idea what this is. But a month ago now, this rogue dev jumped on a forum and started leaking all kinds of things about Starfield. And one of the things he just happened to name drop in the rest of the Starfield leaks was how apparently Bethesda Game Studios Dallas was working on Spy Team, which was a pet project of Todd Howard. But they later moved on to Starfield. So seemingly they worked on Spy Team for a limited amount of time. The crazy part being this dev was later later confirmed, not only by the moderators or admins of this forum, but also by Jason Schreier, who's leaked a ton of Bethesda stuff, and it just makes me think that this dev is fully legit. So that means at one point, Bethesda Game Studios was working on something called Spy Team, and apparently it's Todd Howard's pet project. 
So even though this Fallout 1 remake leak does seem very unlikely, Bethesda Game Studios is definitely working on multiple projects or was. I think an isometric Fallout 1 remake is very low on the totem pole of likelihood, but I also would think something like Spy Team would be. You don't know what it is, but just based off the naming, it almost sounds like a Team Fortress 2 ripoff. And before some people comment, well, what if Spy Team's the code name for the Fallout 1 remake? That too seems incredibly unlikely because they trademarked that name and they very rarely trademark code names. The leaker goes on to mention a bunch of things about Bethesda and Xbox overall that I'm not going to really dive into. A lot of the stuff isn't overtly false. We can't really deny it or say, oh, that's not true, which either means the leak is true, which is very unlikely, or this guy did some of his homework. But on the topic of Starfield, he does say that Starfield will be dropping in April and actually has a giant map that is 10 times larger than a Vouds map. And he describes how we get a Starfield gameplay trailer at this summer showcase. And how you'll see that strange dome where everybody is high on some kind of hallucinogen fish. It's pretty cool. They will show some horror elements on some random cave and they will hint space flight and show ship customization. The dome place in question is known as Neon and they do in fact have a hallucinogenic fish. That is one of the things we know about Starfield from the lore video. And space flight was actually leaked by that reset era dev. It's been heavily implied by trailers, but it does seem very likely space flight is a thing. Again, thanks to that dev that was confirmed by multiple other people to be legit. And actually speaking of that dev known as Heavy008, we get some additional Starfield leaks from what may be a more reputable source that does tie back into Heavy008. A former Bethesda Game Studios employee had shared some details with Teamer222 on Twitter. The former employee says that flying in Starfield was bad when he play tested it in the past, disagreeing with what Heavy008 said on Reset Era, and how the naming of Creation Engine 2 is just a marketing slogan and it is still creation engine with some upgrades, not a rebuild, and the content devs are sick of the engine. This is a pretty minor leak, nothing huge was revealed here, but a lot of it did agree with that other reset arrow leak we had before, especially with flying not being good. Well, this new leak did get posted on Reset Error in its own forum post. And one of the mods on Reset Era actually started replying to it. That mod in question was the person to confirm that Heavy008 was legit. And in one of his posts, Heavy008 said he may still have some old gameplay of Starfield to verify he is legit. So it seems very likely that this mod actually saw gameplay of Starfield and is commenting on this post that was created, basically giving his opinion based off gameplay he saw from Heavy008. It's a very convoluted and interesting, but also bizarre situation. Situation. But actually, this mod ended up deleting all of his comments. But overall, the mod does say he agrees with the comments on flying, saying that from what he saw, flying was a bit jank in motion. The game visually looks good, but it feels like a Bethesda game when moving. To me, this means that it doesn't look phenomenally good, but it is an upgrade over what we had in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. And lastly, how the mod considers the gameplay they saw a beta, and there's plenty of time to clean things up. I mean, this too just all seems legit. Again, I think it's very likely this mod saw gameplay from the other leaker who was trying to verify his identity. And the overall takeaway being that we've kind of heard from three separate sources now how Starfield does in fact have space flight, and in the current build, it doesn't look that good. There's been a lot of speculation as a result that perhaps this is one of the reasons the game was delayed, but since we are likely a year out or at least around a year out from release, there's plenty of time to get this figured out and fixed. One final rumor that does seem pretty plausible is that Bethesda is working with Disney on another project in addition to Indiana Jones. This comes from Joey McDermott on Twitter, who doesn't really have much in the way of a track record on leaks, but does show some evidence of him being informed about the Zenimax and Bethesda roundtable they did after the buyout several months before that actually went live, suggesting that he has an insider who knew about the roundtable and in turn knows about multiple Disney related projects at Bethesda. The one they are working on right now being Indiana Jones and perhaps the second one being around Zenimax Online Studios. There's been rumors of some kind of Mandalorian IP, but Zenimax Online Studios in general seems like a ripe candidate. They've been doing a lot of expanding as of late and they're working on some kind of unannounced title. That's really just speculation. They've been working on this game for a while or at least they've publicly announced that they've been working on it for a while. So I would be shocked if we see or hear something at this E3. Overall, it should be a pretty packed showcase from Xbox and Bethesda this year. We heard just yesterday from Jeff Grubb how there's likely
likely going to be a lot of actual gameplay shown, and how late in 2021 Xbox mandated many of their studios to get gameplay ready for this showcase. The big things for me are definitely going to be Avowed, Starfield, and really just finding out what ZeniMax Online Studios is working on. I really hope we get release dates for both Avowed and Starfield, but really most important is knowing what these games are. We still basically know nothing outside of leaks or minor teasers here or there on those two titles, and actually getting to see the meat of what those games will be is exciting to me. And if they do reveal a 2022 release date for Avowed, you have to imagine that hype will be through the roof, especially considering just Six, seven months after that, we'll have Starfield in 2023, and maybe even a bit earlier if that April rumor does end up being true. Although it wouldn't shock me if Starfield doesn't have a new release date shared just yet, considering it was literally just delayed. Either way, I'll be live streaming the showcase here on this channel, breaking down everything we do get, so you can get subscribed if you want to pay attention to that. Otherwise, hopefully you guys did find this informative. Of course, when it comes to leaks, all of this could fake, but in this video, I definitely tried to highlight a few of the more out there leaks, but also a few of the more concrete or plausible ones. Some of the ones that actually have some evidence of them being true. With that said, I thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.